Good afternoon, Pep. Um, you're just one game, perhaps, away from a final, you know, a semi-final. Is this the biggest game, the most significant game that you've managed with Manchester City this season? I don't know. Of course, when you you are able to to go through next game is the most important. Uh, the games against Monaco was important too. So, of course, it's important to achieve or reach a final, and. Uh, uh, and of course, we prepare as best as possible to to achieve that goal. And state of play wise, as it comes to players, I know you'd like to have Gabriel Jesus at some stage. Where, where's he at at the moment? He's really team? much, much better. So uh, today we make part of the training with us. And uh, he's coming back with his happiness, and, uh, and we are so happy he's back again. Have you got a date in mind when he might be back properly? We're going to travel all the squad to Wembley, all the group, so he will be part of that after we're going to see. Pep, could these next two games against Arsenal and Manchester United define your season? My season was good, so I'm so happy. So I was happy here. So, and at the end is what I want. I am looking forward, like a man, like a manager. I was so happy all the season with the up and downs. But it's a pleasure for me training session. But of course, in the terms of that, to achieve a final, it doesn't matter which one. It's it's so important. And, and of course, the next Thursday against United for qualify for the Champions League is important too. But the day after, or three days after, we're going to travel to Middlesbrough. It will be the same points that the, the last. But we are at the last stage of the season, but we would like to be in Wembley in the 27. We would like to be there. Uh, Pep, they say winning makes you want to win more. So how important is it for the club to win this FA Cup for the young players to try and win a trophy in the first season you play? All the clubs in the world win the title is important, but I think winning or not winning is not going to change too many things about the perspective of our future. What we what we have to do, what we're going to do. Of course, uh, titles helps to, to take, to win confident that the team, the club is able to, de, to, to, to do great things. Winning titles give you the self-confidence to the OK, we are good enough to still compete and compete. And the lack to titles, it's always, we were able to do that, we were able to do the next step, and that's why it's, it's important. But what do you have to do? We thought what we have to do in the next years, I think nothing changes if we win or win the title. Pep, you returned to Wembley where you had uh, great memories as both as a player and a manager too. But definitely the World Wembley in my life would be so, so important in terms of football. We were able to win the first Champions League oh, in that time. Coupe d'Europe uh, with Ronald Koeman make a fantastic goal between the Sampdoria and Mancini. Uh, and the second one beat uh, one of the best teams in the world, Manchester United in Wembley, and especially the way we played. You always will remember in my in my heart. So we make an outstanding performance in all senses. We played 25 minutes second half, and we, we were not able to forget it. That's why Wembley it's a uh, it's important part of my life, like a sport man, like a man in uh, in terms like a football player, and, uh, and come back there always will be special for me, always. Low battery. <laughs> no, it doesn't work anymore. Hi, Pat. Um, can we just check on John Stones, please? How, how is he? Is he is he fit to play no. this weekend? Uh, what's wrong with him, and how long is he likely to be missing for? I had the problem in the muscular. One day, in the training session, the other training session is out. Uh, sure for uh, for uh, for Wembley. Maybe he's coming back for for United, but I don't know right now. Yaya Torre scored the winner in the semi-final and the final when City uh, won it in 2011. Is that something that you, you can help me with um, on Sunday? 
help the rest of the players. He's been there, he's done it for the club. It can inspire them, maybe. So, yeah, he scored a goal in 2011. Yeah, the semi final winner and the final and winner. The final. He won it for, for City. Okay, I will, I will tell him to do it again. <laughs> okay, then. What have you thought about his performances for you this season, Yaya? Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. When he came back, he played good. It was a period when the last month he didn't play, and he knows the reason why he didn't play. Especially the game in Monaco and uh, in, uh, in circumstances, but he's back. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, my opinion. You know my opinion about him so since the beginning. Since the beginning, last game against uh, against Southampton, he he played again really well. Pep, uh, another experienced player, Vincent Company, scoring the goal coming now good at the end of the season. How important is it having him now for the, the, the business end with the cup games, with everything that's coming up? Yeah, he's playing striker next game. Of course it's so important. He's coming back, Vincent, he's quite supportive. We said in the beginning, but uh, always we, want, we we fight and we thought is try to help him or be help of himself to be fit. One player cannot show his talent, he's not fit. And uh, Okay, he's... Uh, the last three weeks of Mount is trained regularly, played the last game, so in the Stamford Bridge, last game, 90 minutes. A long time ago, it didn't happen that. Next season, it was in the beginning, but after that, it was not possible. We cannot forget the semi-final champion, just seven minutes, and after injury again. So, we are happy and delighted that he, he's fit. And after, of course, my decisions to play, but of course, he has, he's like a central defender with uh, special qualities. Special, special qualities. Pep, Arsene Wenger is coming for a, a lot of criticism this season. You've spoken about it yourself. Uh, you also said that you had a lot of expectations on you when you came in this season. Me? Uh, this, yes. He said. No, no, you, you said that ah. the, the other week that they were, they were very high expectations of ah. you. Um, given that this is the only trophy that either of you can win this season, who is it more important to? No. I would like, I would like to, to win the, the, the titles and achieve the final. and. But the other clubs too. So I would like to win the Premier League and and be in quarterfinals, the 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 Champions League. Of course, we will work for that, but we were not able. We have to accept with the expectation. It's Pep is coming here to change the English football. So you can imagine, I I felt. <laughs> so I didn't come here to change absolutely anything. We said that from the beginning. Of course, to win the titles as much titles as possible. But what I receive from that from now on, from the first life, first time in my life, like a manager is. What can I learn for that for the future? So, when the term so if I don't win the titles, I felt I had to accept that. But I said before, I was so happy my period there. In the bad moments, I put myself if I able to to turn around. In some moments, I did it. Sometimes not. But uh, I'm quite happy about what we did in the way we played. In, um, especially in the important games, and, uh, and that's all. It's still fight, a lot of things to, to fight, like, of course, to reach one final, uh, because all four teams are so strong, and, um, and after to finish for the Champions League for the next season, and uh, still a lot of things to fight and we're going to do. And after, I open to receive the opinion from the journalist. Is a place on the bench the best Gabriel Jesus could hope for? In, uh, th on Sunday? All the squad is going to travel on Sunday, tomorrow afternoon, quicker than, 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 than normally, to arrive to the hotel and see the first semi-final all together, Tottenham, Chelsea, Chelsea, Tottenham. And after we'll be all together, and uh, after the dinner, we're going to decide the team and the people's going to the bank. But you're not ruling out starting that? No. David? I'll just go, go back to Vincent. Um, Jurgen Klopp was making the point yesterday. He felt that if but for injuries, they might have made it a better title challenge. I'm, I'm just thinking about Vince because he's so important that if you'd had him all season, could you have I don't know. Him? I would like to sell. We don't win because Vincent, Gabriel, and Gundogan were out. But I cannot answer that question. I don't know. I'm not good enough like Jurgen Klopp. No, the reason why he was not able to do that, so I cannot, because maybe with them we were not able to, so it will be a lack of respect for the people who's fighting a lot for that. Of course, all the managers in the world, all, all the squad and decide and be fit and be fast and be strong and be mentally prepared every single game, every three days, so I don't know, I don't know. But of course, 
with Gundogan, Gabriel and Vincent all the season would have been stronger. But you have to prepare the squad for that inconvenience and solve it. So I think I don't I don't I'm not a guy who take a lot of regrets about what we have done on after the game. Immediately sometimes I am upset about one decision or my wrong decisions or the miss one chance or miss one action in our box. But it, it takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes. After that, I look myself, look ourselves, what we have done good and not good to improve. I'm not guy to, to see we have not win. It's because of another situation. So I don't like to leave my profession in that way. It was interesting about what you were saying there about the, the importance of this game. Is you, you almost feel as if you don't need the FA Cup to show progress because you feel that you've already shown that you're making progress, that you're doing that you want to do here. No, I would like to FA Cup to, to put in the heart my players in the head, so how good they are. Uh, I said many times to them, they still don't believe how good they are. They are a fantastic players and fantastic team. And, uh, and, uh, and winning titles help you a lot. Winning helps to win more because you realize you have lived that experience. And when you, you, you win a, a title, a final, it's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And you, when you handle that and you are able to win, the next time will be easier, a little bit easier, and a little bit easier. Uh, and that's why it's important for the future for that club. When, and of course, they have titles, but not, you know, like uh, in other clubs, for example, in Europe. Has that been your biggest challenge here this season, then? Convincing the players that they are as good as they it's are? It's one of them, yeah. And how have, you, how have you gone about trying to convince them? show them how many good things during the game they do. And sometimes for uh, little details in the boxes for decisions, we are not able to win. But how the process we talk, how we want to do, how good they do. Uh, of course, they believe I'm good. I'm not tiny. But like a team, like a club, even with the club, is this is a fantastic club, fantastic uh, team. I'm so proud of them, what we have done all the season. In the, in the especially in the bad moments when how we overcame our defeat in Champions against Liverpool, how we performed. The people laugh and said, "Oh, the best performance, one of the happiest days." The people cannot imagine when you are at the Champions League, just three days later against Liverpool, or wake, week of rest and come there one day down. How we played that game, that is what I want to see of my teams, and uh, they were fantastic. In the same days, three days later, we go to Arsenal in London, and we play one of the worst first half we have played in all the season. And uh, that's happened. So, in all the teams around the world, you can make a good performance. But I am pretty sure because I said from the beginning how good they are. I am so proud to win how they play. How? Okay, more questions in English for the embargo? <coughs> just have it, please. <coughs> can you just describe how much of a lift Gabriel Jesus will give you when he comes back in terms of his, his personality and his, and his game? Level? Yeah, the impact for Gabriel is how difficult it is to come here in the Premier League and merely play how he played. No? Just 10 minutes against Tottenham, the last 10 minutes there, and create two, three chances in himself. And the Swansea, the last goal, the mentality, he's impacted for, for her show us. And, uh, and um, n not in the case, all the players are injured, so I'm happy when coming back, but especially for him, but he decides he has all Europe in his hands and he decides to come here to join us. And we cannot forget that. I'm so happy he joined us here and he arrives and suddenly in two, three, just he can play two, three weeks. So, and that's why we are so happy. Hopefully he can help us with uh, Sergio and the other ones to score goals in the end of the season. And you said just a minute ago that you were happy with the progress of the team this season. Do you, yeah. do you think the owners share that, you know, that happiness, that contentment? Because last year City finished fourth and no, I don't know. It's a question. I think we will not be happy. So the expectation of the club is to hire as much as possible and, uh, and uh, is win the titles and we're not able. So we are not happy. I can completely understand. And uh, we could do better in the terms of the results and even in the way we play because, of course, if we're not able to win the titles or be there until the end, especially in the Premier League and the Champions League, is because Despite I'm so happy what we have done, it was not enough. But they have to decide. They are my boss, they are my chair, the chairman and the manager. They have to decide 
wherever he wants. But when you ask me, because I am here every three days or every week making the press conference, you ask me what is my opinion. I am honest. Because I'm a guy who not play good. I said we don't play good. And uh, when I said for many circumstances, where we came from, for the past in that club in the last two seasons, or one or two seasons, the way we played, we make uh, very good things. If I'm go to Southampton and play where we play, uh, 90 minutes, and uh, there's many things I'm so happy. So happy. Sorry, Pep, just a quick one. There are two semi finals for Manchester City this weekend. The women have the Champions League semi final tomorrow. How, how impressed have you been with the progress that they've made and also that they are part of when, the club? When, yeah, when, when I'm talking about that, it's an amazing club. And even the people maybe who live here, they don't realize how good they are. Because I came from, from the clubs of Barcelona and Bayern Munich, where they police are confident we are good. Uh, all the academy. So the academy, and last day I was watching Chelsea. Manchester City under 18 and the final the youth and and that is a signal they are working good and they are two or three or four guys they are a big big talent and playing one team at Chelsea as well they are good and uh, last season Manchester City achieved the semi final with Manuel the Champions League the women are there uh, under 10 12 team, 14 is always competing you know to win the titles being there that means a lot so first of all is Huge congratulations for the women to choose the semi finals. I think the Olympique de Lyon, the women, is maybe one of the best teams or the best teams in the, the recent years, the past years in the Champions League. It will be not easy, but being there is so, so fantastic. So wish them the best of luck. There they are in the final, the, the FA Cup final, the women's in the Wembley. So hopefully we can join them in 27 to be there. So when you think uh, of Wembley, what is the first image that comes to your mind? Those two finals, evidently. But the cup, the tradition, the Wembley, when they play the final of the Champions. Well, mainly the two finals, one as a player, one as a manager. Uh, the tradition that the stadium has before the final we played there in 1992. But mainly the, the tradition of the English gives to the to the FA Cup. Uh, the cup is a competition very special. It's an amazing competition in all countries. I remember in Germany it was one of the best games I could play there. And here they make the, the FA Cup great. So it's a very special stadium. Buenas tardes. So when you were knocked out of the Champions League with Bayern Munich, Spanish press were very harsh with you. Uh, what did you feel when Bayern was knocked out the other day at, at the Champions League? Lo primero que pensé el Bayern cuando había eliminado lo Well, first thing uh, I I thought it's uh, that Carlo Ancelotti, the players, the fans of Bayern Munich must be very happy how they play that uh, two legs. Uh, I know how difficult it is to play against Real Madrid, but I I think when they play 11 against 11, uh, Bayern was incredible. I think overall Bayern were much better, but I, I know how difficult it is to play with 10 players. That's why I feel very proud how they play. They were brave uh, both legs in Santiago Bernabeu, but of course the quality of Real Madrid is great, but even when they were 10 against 11, uh, they were there by a good half word. But mainly, as a fan, I feel very proud. I will never be grateful enough to Bayern Munich uh, how they treat me, what they gave me. So mainly, very proud. It's, um, the afony you have today is for this week or it's for today. Estos días. La cena... The dinner I paid again the other day. I went out with my staff to eat out watching Barca Juve. And my afon is for today because my, my players don't pay attention to me. That's why.